So race seven out of 24, it's the first of three heats for DD2. Let's take you through the 29 strong grid. So Mark Kimber put it on pole position by nearly two tenths yesterday evening in time qualifying and picked up the pole position award. He will be joined by Latvia's Matis Malinovskis in the 414. Chris Harnan and Mick Nolson make it an all Dutch row number two. And then row three, it's Denmark and Germany. Lasse Andreessen and Fabian Bock. Fabian Bock already qualified for the grand finals this year. Xander Schriblack makes a welcome return. He's been running in the, in the uh, Bell Car Sprint Cup uh, this season. Actually had the opportunity of watching him in action behind the wheel of the BMW M3 at Zolder three weeks ago. So good to see him back and fingers crossed. Let's see what he can do uh, this, this weekend. Jules Cousin joining him on the road number four. Bonnie Guttler and Martin Van Leeuwen rounding at the top 10. 2019 Senior Rotac Grand Finals champion Axel Sarliala now joins us for this weekend as a tester for the Grand Finals. He'll be joined by Denmark's Matthias Jelle Jakobsen. Maxime Denix, this year's Belgian Max Challenge vice champion, will have Carl Borgard alongside. Charlie Turner will complete the top 15 and will be joined by Denmark's Christopher Zaxa on row number eight. Florian Breitenbach and Kimian Gerhardt, that's row nine with Matic Kolmanic and Hannes Border running at the top 20. Nikita Ilyanov uh, and then uh, Axel Bengtsson on row number 11. Tom Bracken in uh, his early forays into DD2, just 15 years old. He's got Nicolas Guillaume alongside. Lawrence Eifried, Jamie Smith, Hugo Schwarzer, Martin Konopka and Bendit Sabo round out the 29 strong grid. So here we go, into turn number 12, go 29 DD2 drivers, one of them that has not yet qualified will get the ticket for the grand finals come tomorrow afternoon. Into the tram lines we go, revs rise, are we ready, are we steady? The lights go out first time, we are underway and racing and a good start from Kimba, Chris Harden in second, getting past Matis Malinovskis. The P2, as the field makes its way through turns three, four, and five, there's a little bit of a drama that could be either the likes of uh, Hugo Schwarzer, maybe. It was a knees racing cart, the Marinello chassis. Oh, big incident, and that was over. That's Lawrence Seyfried. Lawrence Seyfried and one of the Beryl Art chassis went over the top. That might, I'm not too sure who that was. That could have been Jamie Smith. There's more dramas, and it's the 418 that's been involved. Tom Bracken, and there is a front there's a front bearing on the start fin on that uh, part of the circuit, and there is one cart that is missing its front bumper. Drama within the first 60 seconds of DD2. The accordion effect happened, and it's the 488 I just clocked. Hugo Schwarzer that has lost his front bearing. Tom Bracken out of the race, I'm afraid. And uh, I hope Lawrence Seyfried is okay after that incident off of turn number six. And we've got more dramas a little bit further behind. That's the Dams Racing Cart that is, uh, that's, Chris that's Christopher Saxa. He was actually beached between the grass and that is actually, he's just trying to do some 11s. His yellow flags at Marshall post three. Christopher Zaxa's midpoint of the cart was beach, part on the grass, part on the tarmac, and he was lighting up stationary 11s, but he's got the cart going, has the Dane. Meanwhile, in the race lead, it's no longer Mark Kimber, it's Chris Harnan. He leads the way. Kimber in second. Malinovskis rounds out the top three. Zander Schriblack hunting them down in the 406. Fifth, it's Lassie Andreessen, Jules Cousin. Martin Van Leeuwen, Mick Knowlton, Honey Guttler, and Fabian Bock completes the top 10. Looks like Lawrence Seyfried has got the cart going again, but the Nassau panel is skewed to the left-hand side after that hard hit. So 
seven minutes and 35 seconds plus an additional lap of this race remains and there is a, there's there's been a little bit of attrition already Hugo Schwarzer out after contact with Tom Bracken but Martin Van Leeuwen from the Netherlands getting on with business at hand he is closing in on the pair of Jules Cousin and Lasse Andres and Azana Schriblak. Back to his, he's done a lot of training coming into this event, Azana Schriblak. He's represented Team Belgium back at Sarno. And oh, he, he has a bit of a moment. He really clobbered the curves going through into turn number five, did the Belgian. And now he's going to look up the inside of uh, Mark Kimber and he gets through. This is the old Zana Shriblak. I'm so glad he's decided to come back. And uh, he said, I'm looking at alternatives for what I'm doing next year. But you know what? Let's give it one more push at the grand final, shall we? And that's why he's come here. This is what it means to these drivers that have yet to qualify for the grand finals to be part of the biggest and most colorful events across the world of karting. Now he's gunning for Chris Hahn and Maxime Didix has started to pick up the pace. So out, Christopher Zaxa out of the race. And we've got a time penalty. It's going to Jamie Smith from South Africa. He's the one that went over the front Nassau panel of one Lawrence Seyfried. Gets a five second time penalty for pushing. So Zana Shriblak now closing in on Chris Harnan, but things are closing in. Gaps are being truncated. And now, Shriplak, I think, is teeing up Harnan. You can see it on how close he is. He's about three quarters of a cart length behind. Out of turn 12. Shriplak will now have the toe. He gets his head down. He's going to launch it very quickly. You're going to see it unfold, and there it is. Beautiful move there from Shriblak to get through on Harnan, and Harnan did not want to give that up. But Kimber is coming along for the ride, not on the traditional OTK chassis that he runs on, is Mark Kimber, because Birrell ART are the chassis providers for the DD2 class. So now Zander Shriblak leading by just over, he was, uh, he was actually a tenth behind Harnan, so if you're within two to two and a half tenths of the cart in front of you coming out of turn 12, you have an opportunity for the biggest possible slipstream. And it's pretty comparable going down the Yerapolan through turn six and turn seven. On to lap number seven we go. It might be lucky for some, it could be unlucky for others. As Zander Shriblak now extends the lead, it was a tenth of a second disadvantage and he's just clawed back the best part of nearly four tenths of a second by getting the lead off of Chris Harnan. A little bit further back there's Maxim Didix. He's ahead of Wyke Motorsports, Fabian Bock. They've got, I think that might be, Honey Gertler, I believe. Honey Gertler normally runs on the Mac 1 chassis. This car might be a different colour and it might be a different iteration altogether. Just about off a P8 on the road. There is one got that. It is the uh, Mac 1 chassis. There's Maxim Didik. Uh, the, no, there's the move from Martin Van Leeuwen. Van Leeuwen up the inside of Kimber. That's for P3. Nice switch back from the uh, driver base out of Zolder. So, youngest driver in this field, 15, that's Tom Blacken and Fabian Bach. I never thought I'd be saying this. He's the eldest driver. Well, no, it's not him. It's, uh, it's Martin Konopka from Slovakia for KMS Europe that's the eldest driver, 32 years of age. Van Leeuwen, 24 years of age from Zolder. Jan Schublak, five years his junior, 19. It's locally here to the circuit. Two minutes and 40 seconds to go. 
And Xander Shriblak has pulled out a lead over what was Chris Harnan. But there's another Cart Republic chassis from Shepherds Racing. And that is Martin Van Leeuwen up the inside for second place in the 412. Again, Chris Harnan trying to resist that attack and trying to instantly counter. And he had no answer on that one. He nearly had uh, a moment there with regards to brakes he, and also his front bumper. He was very, very careful to that. And Chris Harnan, one of the younger drivers of this field, uh, 16 years of age. The same for Matis Malinowskis. Uh, in fifth position, he's got a good Cousin. Cousin, 28 years of age, based uh, at, in Paris. So it's the final minute and three quarters. Malinowskis and Cousin were just a tenth and a half of a second apart over the line, and there they are. Going through turn five and into turn six. Cousin a little bit braver on the brakes from the number 475. Over his right hand shoulder to see that there was left at Andreasen. Maxim Dirix in the meantime. Now where did he start on this grid? 13th, now up into eighth place. So a gain of five positions. Uh, that's why Scrampton the, uh, the Belgian Max Challenge this year. Having to miss one of the races due to uh, school commitments. And into the final 60 seconds we go. Alexander Shriblak is pulling away. In eight tenths of a second ahead of uh, Martin Van Leeuwen from the Netherlands. Chris Harden still keeping, still looking a bit feisty. Looking to have a bit of a scrap out onto the circuit. Clean and fair one, I might add. He was only exactly two tenths of a second behind. Just under 20 seconds to go. Be tight on time. There is our race leader. Now coming out of turn number 11, Shriblak. This could be close to the wire. And I know for a fact that our flag marshal on the start finish line is now going to show the last lap board. There it is. Time to hit zero. Last lap board is out. Shriblak has a lead of just over seven and a half tenths of a second ahead of Martin Van Leeuwen from the Netherlands. Chris Harnan. Mark Kimber and Jules Cousin running out the top five. So four different nationalities represented. We have had a couple of, um, couple of penalties given before 18 has been hit with a five second time penalty. And that is for pushing. That has been Tom Bracken, but then also the 456 of Jamie Smith from South Africa. That was an earlier penalty for causing a collision. The five second time penalty isn't really going to affect Tom Bracken's race because it's already it was already over on the opening lap. Right, here we go. First heats of DD2. It's back to winning ways. Belgium, Zander Schriblak out of the final corner. The 406 takes the opening heat of the day. Martin Van Leeuwen from the Netherlands and Chris Harnan also representing the Netherlands. Running out the top three places. Mark Kimber running on the Birol Art chassis for this weekend, as I said, preparing for two weeks' time, because at this point, two weeks' time, they, those drivers that have qualified for the Grand Finals will be at the Catedroma Internacional do Algarve in Portimao. And then on the 20th, the iconic cart and engine raffle draw happens, and that will take place on the start-finish straight. So, there are your top three, line astern, coming through into turn 10. So, head into scrutineering for the post-race technical checks. And there is your race winner, Zana Schriblak from Belgium. And it's two du flying Dutchmen behind, Martin Van Leeuwen and Chris Harnen. Mark Kimber for Great Britain and Jules Cousin from France ran out the top five. Matis Malinowskis, Lasse Andreessen, Maxim Didix, Ronnie Gutler, and Finland's Axel Sarniala ran at the top 10. Matthias Yeda Jakobsen, Fabian Bock, Mick Nolson, Charlie Turner, and Axel Bengtsson ran at the top 15. Florian Breitenbach, Kilian Gerhardt, Karl Borgard, Hannes Borda, Ben Dezabo, 
Nicola Guillaume, Martin Konopka, Laurent Seyfried, uh, Matic Kolmanis, uh, then we've got Nikita Ilyanov and Jamie Smith being the last of the classified finishers, with Christopher Zaxa, Hugo Schwarz and Tom Bracken unfortunately retiring. So just to recap the race today, there was Chris Harnan getting himself steeled and ready for battle. And it duly commenced as everyone got through. It was two Birrell ARTs on the front row with Kimber and Malinovskis. The, the race got underway pretty cleanly. Kimber got the jump on everybody. Harnan got through on Malinovskis to pay, take P2. Uh, Mick Knowlton was fancying a move around the outside through into the opening uh, two corners. And Fabian Bock got left a little bit in the wilderness. But then we had this massive incident between Jamie Smith and uh, Lawrence Seyfried. And Seyfried's front axle, went uh, front uh, left-hand side uh, wheels went over him. Discomfort for the 20-year-old from Salzgitter with an assail panel. Christopher Zaxa lighting up the rear tyres. But then uh, Sana Shriblak just uh, decided, right, let's get to the front of the field and stay there. His move up the inside of Chris Harnan was exemplary. Then Martin Van Leeuwen decided to throw his two cents into the ring by getting through past Mark Kimber out of the final corner. Then he got past Chris Harnan. But at that point, there was enough of a gap for Zana Shriblak to just comfortably pull away and win by just over seven tenths of a second after that race. There you see the drivers making their way into scrutineering. 